My name's Dash and Grizzly, and I'm completely unqualified. My neighbor's pipes are gone again, so if it ends up that you hear them, you just hear them. They won't stop. It's driving me insane. So, finally got the time to sit down and record. And something that, that keeps happening, I have this problem with people who I'm truly, dearly friends with. We have, we have, you know... X amount of people that we can we can be around in our lives, and we fundamentally have that choice that uh, John Green was talking about in a video where it's, it's this movie Harvey from the 50s, and his mother says to him, in this world, you can be oh so pleasant or oh so right. I prefer pleasant. Uh, and, you know, that, that fundamentally creates this big divide in my brain where, you know, being correct is important. Having respect for the truth is important. And making sure not to disrespect those who would have, like, had their life saved if the truth was made available to them, that's annoying. Which is why the worst person I can think of right now is David Avocado Wolf. And no matter what, there are these people sharing... The, these memes with him, you know, it's not a big deal. Not really when you break it down. Not everybody spends so much time online. So when you run into people who do, and them and their friends are sharing conspiratorial nonsense, they're sharing fundamentally anti-science, and disguising it under the, the guise of positivity, and, you know, being completely bedazzled by nature and the vastness of the universe, and all of these things that just make you go hippy-dippy, woo-woo, thought, porn more than anything else. That just, you know, it gets you excited. They, 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 they brighten your day up. What a nice meme that was. Meanwhile... That's 8 out of 10. You know, 4 out of 5 memes are just about positivity. But the bad things, that remaining 20% is some absolutely pedantic, duplicitous nonsense that is designed to either get money from you when it comes to things like crystals, when it comes to Himalayan salts, when it comes to magnets that you'll use to cure can get out of here. Cure cancer, magnets don't do that. Magnets don't do anything. All the peer reviewed studies ever <clears throat> support that. Even though it it's very difficult to get a study with a negative result actually published. They're still out there. You can still easily find them. In this world today, it is a choice to be ignorant, and it saddens me. It hurts me. It makes me wonder how exactly I can communicate rationally and compassionately without being cruel, without seeming mean, without saying you're wrong, and that says X and X and X about you. And, you know, fundamentally, that also has to mean that I'm right, and it says X and X and X about me, but my variables about what being right says about me are obviously better, <clears throat> passive-aggressively anyways, than what your variables say about you being wrong. I hate to think that just because somebody's wrong about something that they're accidentally ignorant of, that it also says multiple bad things about them after the fact, after the conversation, after they've, you know, unfortunately... Like using like old mean internet words, schooled, pwned, etc., where one person completely bashes another with the truth until they have to acquiesce to the person who demands that they believe something, and I just don't want to be that person. If you want to believe nonsense, believe nonsense. Like I, I truly do support you on that because fundamentally, if you believe nonsense, you don't matter enough to have your nonsense propagate. It's people like David Avocado Wolf who do matter. Who allow people who can't change the narrative of what is true to change the narrative of what is true. It's a matter of individuals accidentally moving as a unit underneath the guise of somebody's authority. And David Avocado Wolf has none. But somehow he has ramped up this movement of people who will share his nonsense under the guise of positivity. Again, it feels good. Feels good to read that. Oh, you're mind blown. Wow, how great is that? And then, you know, you have people who are extremely well-meaning and want nothing but positivity or sharing nonsense about chakras and how if you just think positively, you won't develop cancer. 
you won't develop brain tumors. Your cells will be on a frequency that resists cancer. If you eat an alkaline diet, you will not have any acidic parts of your body where cancer can form, even though eating things doesn't change your blood alkalinity. What can do that over a short time span is breathing. You can do that Wim Hof method where you do, we hyper oxygenate your cells, make your red blood cells huge, and then your alkalinity of your blood goes up ever so slightly, and that stops things like pain uh, uh, causing you to, to respond as if it's painful. But other than that, you're not going to eat things and have your blood be more alkaline over an extended period of time. It's not going to happen, but people will share that, and they don't know that it's harmful, and they don't know that it influences others. It convinces them either to not go to the doctor or, in a less immediate way, convinces them that science is somehow something that shouldn't be invested in by anybody who's interested in it and, and causes people to not get STEM degrees, which is the most important thing in the world for me, me and my friends who I cherish. Who have actually taken the time, well, to, to, not me, <laughs> I did not do that, but those who did, I respect, and I fundamentally have a little bit more respect for them than people who, who, who didn't uh, uh, go out, uh, out of their way to get a, a degree that is going to impact the world. And all, is, as long as you got a degree, as long as you have a passion, doesn't even have to be a degree, as long as you weren't purposefully lying with your talent, with your skill, with your charisma, with your ability to propagate out information, you, you've done some good in the world simply by not sharing the bad stuff. And it is, there's, a, there's an inverse law there somewhere where just by not doing something, you do something good. Which, you know, I'm sure somebody out there can tell me what logical fallacy I've committed just now or tell me the exact component of what my argument stands on. I think you can, you can just avoid sharing these bad things and ultimately, through your lack of participating, do something good. The exact same problem happened with spirit science in between like 2008 and 2012 where people were just absolutely just giving this this guy Jordan thumbs up left and right for being positive for sharing this awakening message only to have them be bombarded with nonsense that shares nothing with reality nothing about reality can corroborate the stories Jordan tells and the same can be said for David Avocado Wolf and as time goes on the more instances I find myself interested in telling people to please don't share that like I'm your friend I would never infringe on your right to say and share whatever you want but let's have a conversation about why it's not a, a good to share it let's be completely honest with each other let's not be pedantic duplicitous let's not let's not treat each other like children you know if I if I like w want to discuss what frequency is and why nothing nothing about frequency has to do with awareness it's it's a basic very simple thing you throw one ball every five seconds your frequency of throwing that ball is 0.2 that's that's it that's your frequency 0.2 it is math it does not tell you all of this hippy dippy new age nonsense woo woo stuff it is it is math and math may not be this mystifying thing that we would like it to be um, unless of course we understand it which the vast majority of us don't but that means if you want to make sense of it you have to work for it you have to get a, dedicate the time to it go into the M part of STEM and the, the mathematics may become magic and even even if we don't understand it, we can we can understand maths in an abstract way that make us feel good. That's why you know people go around talking about we're stardust. You, know, you five six years ago, nobody really would spout that, but now oh, everybody I meet wants to tell me we're stardust, and it's like I know, I know we're stardust. That's cool, that's cool, and that is one hundred percent true. 
But thinking positively doesn't increase your frequency to the point where you aren't affected by diseases. Despite what assholes like Spirit Science and David Avocado Wolf would tell you. For the sake of you sharing their memes, increasing their popularity, increasing their web traffic, increasing their ability to be charlatans and sell you things that have no medical merit. That's all. I'm completely unqualified. Bear with me anyways. I'm serious. We had five people show up. Five. Five people show up.